Welcome to Global Report, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Computer chips are the invisible engines powering everything from smartphones to data centers. They're at the heart of our digital lives, quietly enabling the devices and services we rely on every day, often without us even realizing it. These silicon wafers are packed with billions of transistors. The more you fit, the more powerful the chip. Each transistor acts like a tiny switch, controlling the flow of information and electricity at lightning speed, making modern computing possible. The race to shrink transistors from micrometers to nanometers drives our technological progress. Smaller transistors mean faster, more energy-efficient chips, which in turn power everything from artificial intelligence to cloud computing. Hitting the 3 nanometer node means squeezing an unimaginable number of transistors onto a fingernail-sized chip, unlocking new frontiers in AI and supercomputing. This leap allows for smarter devices, more powerful servers, and breakthroughs in fields like medicine and robotics. For years, only Taiwan and South Korea could manufacture these advanced chips, making the global supply chain fragile. Any disruption in these regions could send shockwaves through the world's technology industry. The US and China realized that chip production was not just economic, but a matter of national security. Whoever controls chip technology controls the future of innovation, defense, and economic power. The US restricted China's access to advanced chip-making tools, aiming to slow down companies like Huawei. These restrictions targeted the most cutting-edge equipment, making it nearly impossible for Chinese firms to keep up. For Huawei, losing access to the global supply chain was an existential threat. Without advanced chips, their smartphones, servers, and networks would quickly fall behind global competitors. The company faced a stark choice, fall behind or build its own advanced chip-making capabilities from scratch. This challenge would require massive investment, innovation, and a race against time to secure their future. Making a 3 nanometer chip is like drawing a city map on a grain of sand, an almost unimaginable feat of precision and scale. The lines you need to draw are so tiny, thousands could fit across a single human hair. And to achieve this, you use light as your pen, an invisible, ultra-precise tool that can carve out patterns smaller than anything a human hand could ever manage. Lithography is the process of using light to etch intricate chip designs onto silicon wafers. The shorter the wavelength of light, the finer the details you can create, allowing for more powerful and efficient chips. For decades, deep ultraviolet UV light was the workhorse of the industry, enabling generations of chips. But as the demand for smaller, faster, and more energy-efficient chips grew, DUV reached its physical limits. Enter extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography. EUV uses light with a wavelength of just 13.5 nanometers, so small it can etch features at the atomic scale, making possible the world's most advanced chips. Without EUV, manufacturing these cutting-edge chips is still possible, but the process becomes painfully slow, extremely expensive, and far less efficient, making mass production nearly impossible. Only one company in the world, ASML from the Netherlands has managed to master EUV technology, giving it a near-total monopoly over the most critical tool in modern chipmaking. When the US pressured the Dutch government to block ASML's EUV sales to China, it effectively cut off China's access to the most advanced chipmaking technology, halting its progress at the frontier of innovation. This blockade quickly became the centerpiece of the US strategy to contain China's technological ambitions, shaping the global balance of power in the semiconductor industry. For a time, it seemed to lock Chinese companies out of the 3 nanometer future, until now, as new developments begin to challenge the status quo. Under US sanctions, Huawei faced a future that looked increasingly bleak, denied access to the world's most advanced EUV machines the company was expected by many to fade into irrelevance, unable to keep up with global chip giants. But in early 2025, the tech world was stunned. News broke that Huawei was testing its own homegrown EUV lithography system, a feat few thought possible. This wasn't just a prototype or a lab experiment, it was a fully functioning machine, the result of a massive, secretive national project that had been years in the making. With strong government backing, Huawei led a vast network of research institutes, universities, and technology companies, all working together to replicate and even reinvent the world's most complex manufacturing tool. The Chinese EUV system could already manufacture 5 nanometer chips, 
a milestone that put it on par with the best in the world. Even more impressively, the system was being rapidly refined for 3 nanometer production, pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible for China's chip industry. Previously, Huawei had managed to produce a 7 nanometer chip using brute force DUV methods, a workaround that was ingenious but ultimately unsustainable for mass production. The arrival of a domestic EUV machine changed everything, putting Huawei back in the global race for semiconductor leadership and signaling a new era for China's tech ambitions. ASML's stock dropped sharply as the world realized its monopoly on EUV technology might finally be ending, sending shockwaves through the industry. The old narrative of China's technological stagnation was shattered. Huawei's EUV breakthrough became a powerful symbol of a new reality, one where global tech leadership was suddenly up for grabs. At the core of every EUV machine is a light source generating the elusive 13.5 nanometer wavelength. ASML uses laser-produced plasma, LPP, firing lasers at tin droplets to create EUV light, a process perfected over decades. Blocked from LPP technology, Huawei's team pursued laser-induced discharge plasma, LDP, vaporizing tin between electrodes to generate EUV light. LDP was once overlooked in the West, but Chinese engineers saw its potential and refined it. LDP could be simpler and more energy efficient, eliminating the need for ASML's complex lasers. This alternative approach could make EUV machines cheaper and easier to run. By developing LDP, China not only bypassed sanctions, but created a proprietary technology with long-term advantages. Innovation born from necessity, China found its own way to create EUV's magic light. Huawei's EUV breakthrough was a national effort, coordinated through a network of specialized companies. At the center is SciCarrier, a state-owned holding company nurturing key semiconductor technologies. Skyverse Technology, a SciCarrier subsidiary, developed a new EUV-compatible photoresist, rivaling Japanese industry leaders. Chiunfang Technology tackled electronic design automation EDA, software, long dominated by American firms, launching a homegrown suite that boosted design efficiency. Long Sight, another Psi Carrier company, built a 90 GHz oscilloscope for high-precision chip testing. These companies systematically closed every technological gap left by U.S. sanctions. Together, they formed a vertically integrated powerhouse, building a complete, homegrown chip-making ecosystem. The result? China's semiconductor industry is no longer dependent on foreign suppliers. Huawei's success is the product of a coordinated national strategy. Huawei's EUV machine depended on a full arsenal of supporting technologies. Skyverse's patented photoresist formula secured a vital component, insulating China from chemical export restrictions. Chiyunfang's domestic EDA software broke the American monopoly, giving Chinese engineers the tools to design advanced chips. Long Sight's high-speed oscilloscope enabled precise validation of 3 nanometer chips. These weren't isolated achievements, they were part of a holistic strategy to build a self-sufficient semiconductor toolbox. China's approach, own the factory, the blueprints, the software, the materials, and the testing equipment. By developing each capability in parallel, China created a resilient, self-contained ecosystem. No single point of failure. China's chip industry is now robust against foreign pressure. ASML's EUV monopoly was the world's most powerful tech choke point. The US believed blocking China's access would keep it generations behind. Huawei's breakthrough shatters that belief. ASML's monopoly is broken. The US technology blockade has been neutralized. China now has its own path to the cutting edge. For Huawei, this means independence from foreign foundries and a return to global competition. For China, it's a declaration of technological independence and proof that no barrier is insurmountable. Domestic EUV will energize China's entire chip industry, benefiting foundries and spurring innovation. The end of ASML's monopoly redraws the global tech map, ushering in a new, multipolar era. The chip race is now wide open.
A working EUV prototype is a milestone, but mass production brings new challenges. China's prototype operates at lower power than ASML's machines, scaling up is the next hurdle. The optics, ultra-flat mirrors, must be manufactured and aligned with atomic precision. System integration is daunting. Light source, vacuum chambers, robotics, and software must work seamlessly, 24-7. Achieving the reliability needed for high-volume manufacturing took ASML decades. China now faces the same challenge. Despite this, China's timeline is aggressive trial production in late 2025, mass production in 2026. The breakthrough has attracted more talent and investment, fueling rapid progress. The path is difficult but for the first time, it's clear. China is no longer asking if it can reach the summit, only how fast. Huawei's 3 nanometer EUV breakthrough marks a fundamental shift in global tech. The era of a single Western-dominated chip supply chain is ending. Two competing ecosystems are emerging. The US and allies will double down on next-gen technologies, but export controls have lost their edge. China has proven it can innovate under pressure, creating new risks and opportunities for the global market. Countries may have to choose sides, but a strong competitor to ASML could lower prices and boost innovation. By 2030, China could become a major supplier of advanced chips, rebalancing the global market. The race to build the world's smallest, most powerful chips is accelerating. The chip war isn't over. It's entering its most unpredictable chapter yet.